Yo, what's going on, Sexy Semblance Squad? Today we are back on Smite 1 playing some ranked 1v1 duels. Uh, there's some things I need to tell you about. There's quite a few things, so you better listen up, open your ears. It's going to take about 10 minutes, more than likely. Um, first things first, we're playing Sir Ket, and I know this tilt is going up on Wednesday. Uh, that's because I recorded it really late on Tuesday because I had some errands to run. Um, but thing number one. Make sure that you guys are checking out the Smite 2 content. As you know, and very obviously, Smite 2 is the future of Smite. Whether you want to admit it or not, um, Smite 2 is what Smite will be in, you know, whenever it's out of beta or out of closed alpha and goes into beta and becomes free to play. When Smite 2 becomes free to play, which I know right now it's not, but when it does become free to play it will be what smite is right smite one will still be playable but it will not receive updates so um i mean it, it will receive updates but it'll only receive the same updates that smite 2 receives so you know it's gonna be basically smite 2 but on a worse engine um and more bugs but please check out the smite 2 content on the channel you know it is the future even if you don't like it initially Maybe you can learn to love it just because of how much I love it. Uh, maybe that will be a little bit infectious or something. It would be awesome. Uh, number two. I do have my variety channel. And I have uploaded two extra videos since the last time I mentioned it. Every Wednesday. Uh, we are taking this Wednesday off of uploading from that channel though. Because we're working on a big video to come out for the next Wednesday. So, so yeah. Make sure to get check out that Variety channel. That will be linked in the pinned comment. It will be a pinned comment to that, that second channel. And that it does have a couple of horror games on there. It has some funny content. There will be even more like horror and funny content on there as well. So make sure you check it out. And then on top of all of that. It has been announced that Smite 2 will have Duel and Joust as its next integrated mode into the game. So, when that happens, uh, I will be making a full 100% switch over to Smite 2. I will be playing Duel. I'll be playing Conquest. But right now, I'm grinding up the ranks of Conquest. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, but... Yeah, I just figured I'd let you guys know. It has been announced that Joust and Duel are going to be the next modes added into Smite 2. So if you only watch this channel for Duel and you're like, well, Smite 2 doesn't have Duel or Smite 2 doesn't have Duel, so why would I watch Conquest content? First off, give it a shot. You might like it, you know? I know it might not be the content you, like, thought about loving forever, but... Maybe, maybe it will be. Hold on. Where did he go? Did he? Oh, he might have gone towards my phoenix and back. That sneaky devil. That sneaky devil. Can't be mad at that. That's a good play. Just a solid play. Anyways, if you did think, oh, Sam is a dueler. He's not a smite player, right? I know a lot of people think that about me, including a lot of people that watch the content, which is fair. You know, that I've, I've based my entire content around just specifically duel for so long that switching up into conquest feels almost wrong. You know, I get it. Trust me. But, um... You know, I will be playing Conquest on Smite 2. And Smite, Smite 2 is getting dual, like I said, so... You're dead. Smite 2 is getting dual, so you can expect some Smite 2 dual content when that happens. And it will be pretty much exclusively what I'm playing. So... It's going to be pretty sick. So just get, get ready for that, you know? Like, I know that the change between Smite 1 and Smite 2 is really big. Um... You know, I know that there's like a lot of graphical things that people don't like and there's uh, 
like people are complaining about not getting the skins or the god pack or whatever so be it but you know unfortunately whether you or i like it which i will be honest i think smite 2 is infinitely better than smite 1 um but it's it's just gonna be the future man everyone's already streaming it everyone's already saying how much they love it Everyone's already saying that it feels like a more polished smite. And I got to be honest, after playing Smite 2 for, like, I don't know, 55 hours probably. Um, and then coming back to Smite 1, it it is a, it, it's a significant difference. Uh, in a bad way. <laughs> Smite 2 does feel more smooth. I will say the minions, like, clearing the waves feel better in Smite 1. Um... Because I think there's a bug in Smite 2 that if you do over the max HP of, like, the person. Not not max HP, sorry. Like, let's say there's a minion with 115 health, right? Let's say I hit that minion for 140. I think it won't kill the minion. And instead, it'll bring that minion to 1 HP. And I think that's a bug with the new execute system that they have on minions. Which surely is going to get worked out. But that that is like the biggest gripe I have. But other than that, I mean, I, I don't have any complaints. But I am 20% cooldown now, right? Oh no, this doesn't give cooldown anymore. That gives pen. So I'm 20% cooldown. I can go breastplate. I don't think I can one-hit you, can I? Probably not. By the way, if um, if the reason that you're not looking forward to Smite 2 is because you don't understand the items or you don't understand the gods and what they do new or you don't understand the strength and intelligence system or, you know, whether to build physical or magical defenses or active items rather than relics, you know, all of these different things, all of these minute things, I'll be giving a full rundown of Smite 2 in a video. Um, I plan on recording and editing it myself. It'll probably take, I don't know, a hundred hours of work more likely, but I do think it would be a really, really good video for people just to learn how to understand Smite 2 because it's, it's a huge change, you know, like they changed a lot of stuff, including like building, like you don't just pick an item and go, oh, I want this and then this, you know, so. If the knowledge gap was something that was intimidating you, you don't need to worry about that. I got you covered, boo-boo. I got you covered, boo-boo. Don't worry. Pick that up. Um, I do want to get this tower. I don't know if I can, though. I don't have a lot of attack speed. <laughs> no, I'll be able to. I'll, I might take a shot or two, but... Never mind, or I won't take any shots. I'm just the best. Jump this. I missed. He missed two, though, so we're chilling. Ow. Um. Oh, he's going Soul Eater and the Lifesteal Jotuns. Okay, my dude is about to heal the crap out of himself. Alright. I did want to blink there and then hit it with my two, but... That was a good one by him. Oh my god. Wait, I just did so much damage. And that's just a surrender. All right. I pretty much didn't talk about the game at all in the first game of this tilt. Or Tillawa. Till I lose Wednesday. But. Yeah. I got some points across that I really wanted to get across. Second channel will be linked down. And I'll see you guys in game two. What's up, gamers? Welcome back. Game number two. I'm using the default circuit skin now because I used the pirate skin in the first game. We're fighting or I or yeah, I'm not gonna or I I hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. Um, what is his name? 
O R I A D A S. O R I A D A S. Oreadas. Okay, that is definitely Spanish. What, how do I pronounce it in English? Oreada. Oreada. Oreadas. I don't know, man. Whatever. Let's just play the. What am I doing? In the middle of a recording, I'm just like, hey, how do you say that word, by the way? <laughs> like, what is, what is wrong with me? Um, I started Jotun's last game. I kind of want to start tankier this game. But there's also a part of me that's just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Do more damage, right? Oh, Runeforge probably goes hard as hell on Circa, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah, 15% more damage. So I hit the two, and then my one and a first couple ticks of my alt do extra DMGs, dude. I'm invading, by the way. I am that person. No. Okay, that's fine. All right. Well, I got the buff. He actually almost got it by sitting in that thing. I'm okay with him hitting me. I don't really mind. I don't mind getting beat up a little bit here. There it is. There it is. The blink, baby. The blink. It's just too good. It's just too unpredictable. You know? And for the most part, people don't start with blink. So like being blinked on early game, like level three to five, you just don't expect it. Ouch. Ouch. I mean, I'm okay with this. You hit me instead of the wave, so now, now you're stuck clearing wave and I get to completely obliterate all triple buff control. And I get to go get my Runeforged Hammer. Let's go. I mean, I think it's a really good item. Surely it is, right? Like, surely I'm not I'm not coping. It's it's 2250 gold, I believe. 40 fizz power, 150 health, and a lot of regens. Not to mention the damage increase. It's a really good item on Circuit, especially. Hello. Oh, I hit him. Oh, okay. Okay, it turns out that he ulted me off of his own noggin. Did not know that was possible. He really wants me dead. He's got no mana. This is free. Can I get the XP for those? I do get the XP from those. Wow, okay. I honestly didn't think I would. Did you guys see how those archers just shot me? They didn't even look at me and they shot completely sideways. That was insane. Come this way, please. Can you come this way, please? Oh. Oh. Ow. All right. Dude, it's like impossible to kill him. There's your chests. Let's go. Not going to be able to get his blue because he has alt up, but getting double treasure chest is good. I mean, maybe I can get his blue. I do have blink. Oh, that is that is very not good. All right. That's actually really good for me. That is actually very good for me. Okay. I had to go like non-verbal for a second because I, I needed to fucking focus up. I almost got nut blasted by a Discordia. <laughs> but, oh, Jesus Christ. But I lived and I got the blue. So I will consider that a very, very big success. 
Oh, nice. I got this too. Uh, do I get this? Oh, nice. And you give me that? Bro, thank you so much. Such a gentleman. Your middle tower is under attack. There's no way you want to fight me, by the way. Yep. I was, I was correct. Now we go full Genji's here. If he goes for the blue buff, I think I just blink on him. Your middle tower is under attack. Hello. I missed. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, again. I mean, that was his, um, that was his horn shard and everything, right? Like, that was everything he had to try to survive and keep me alive. Or everything he had to try to survive and, uh, keep me off of him. And I was able to just, like, completely face tank it because I have rune forged and Genji's. Now, my damage is a little bit lackluster. I'm not going to lie. Kind of feels a little poo-poo caca. But, but... I do have four more item spots left, so you know we can we can pump those baby numbers up a little bit. I don't know how long treasure chests take to spawn. I'm just gonna check back here. Hello. Wow. That man just got cooked. Did I even crit him? I don't know, like... My ult did almost no damage. My ult only did 146. Well, I guess the last tick of the ult didn't count, but... Still. I really... Don't know how that did so much burst. Oh, that hit me? Alright, there's our beads. Oh, I got hit by that. That is not good. Not good. Ouch. It's fine. Oh, I could maybe kill, though. <laughs> okay. But he actually put some respect on my name there. But I definitely should not be tanking his whole wave. Oh no. Oh no. Tragedy struck. I almost died to a minion wave. <laughs> Alright. Just back and buy the Yotes. Like holy shit man. What is going on? What is going on? Oh. Dude. I'm telling you, my brain is so focused on Smite 2 and how much I love it that playing Smite 1 feels actually so foreign to me, which is the craziest feeling for a game that I put like over a decade of my life into as a career to feel foreign to me after playing its sequel. Oh, that's not good. It's really hard for me to catch him max cooldown. Okay. Dude, I don't know why can I not see Discordia? Oh, it's true stealth now, isn't it? It got changed a while ago, but you never really fight a Discordia, so you never get to really see that change. Is Discordia is just not meta enough in ranked to like be that good. But um it's true stealth, which means true stealth is even if you get damaged while in stealth, you are still stealth. Okay, this blue is not a oh hello. Yeah, I mean that it's a bit weird for him to like try to follow me and kill me here, honestly, because you just do not do the damage necessary to to hurt me. Oh, he even 
even popped his horn shard there oh it's because he's stacking tablet that's why all he's doing is stacking tablet right now i understand what wait he didn't even beads that how did he live perfect perfect no oh my god i mean i'm not gonna be able to get this am i damn it all right fine fine I mean, I, I cringe this, right? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Just back. Just back. Don't be an idiot. Don't be a moron. Just, just back. I really want to be stupid. I really wanted to be stupid and just go for the blue, man. All right. I got Heartseeker. I'm going to go crush her as well. And then I'm just going to like slap on a crit. Item, last item. Hello. I missed. All right, now you go that way, and then you die. Boop, boop. Perfect. Perfect kill. The Heart Seeker is doing almost nothing, by the way. Um, I wish I could tell you like an explanation for why I purchased Heart Seeker over like any other damage dealing item because I'm fighting someone who doesn't have any HP built. Uh, but if I'm honest, the only reason I built it is because it's such a strong item in Smite 2 that I kind of was expecting it to be such a strong item in Smite 1. I missed. Damn it. Not today. Dang it. Dang it. I can't ever freaking hit it, man. What's my cooldown at? 30%. Oh, whatever, I'm just gonna back. I'm gonna go do red and then back. The good news is like, even though I can't hit him, if I do get a hold of him, I'm pretty sure he just explodes. Like, yes, technically speaking, he seems like he's owning me right now. And that might be true, but all it takes is a millisecond mess up to get owned. You're not here, are you? I am dead. I ate just literally nothing, by the way. I got hit by the alt. And then I Aegis, and then my and then my Aegis ran out. Then I got hit by the other tick of the yaw. That is actually hilarious. Am I dead here? No, I'm alive. Crazy. Oh man. That cooldown is crazy. That cooldown is crazy. Uh what's my crit chance at? 15%. I could get it up to 50 with Deathbringer. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do that. And then I could actually get it higher with Devoted Deathbringer too, right? Your middle tower has been destroyed. All right. So what is my crit chance right now? It's 54, but I gain another 5% just by leveling up to 20. So... And then I'll gain another 25% of that 5%, which is another point. 
point. Oh, it's one like 1.25, but whatever. I'm pretty sure it rounds down. So I'll have 60% crit chance with only Deathbringer. That's actually very good. What the fuck? How did he get over there? How did he even get over there, dude? Oh, I'm dead. How how does my alt keep getting on him and then leaving? My alt like gets on him and then and then runs away from him. I don't get it. Like I touch him and then it, and then it doesn't touch him. You know what I mean? I'm dead. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Blink. Oh, no! Okay. Wait. I live. Oh, no. I died. Oh, no. I lived. Okay. Wait. Not Not no. I lived. Oh, yes. I lived. Um, okay. So he's going triple stacking with max cooldown. That is actual criminal behavior but it's working unfortunately i'm gonna get life steal here i'm gonna turn this into nothing because it's not worth it um and then honestly like i'm not gonna lie to you i have the damage fuck it just go double defense right, i'm just gonna go shifters shifters give me a, gives me a little more damage i'll take it He really wants to just poke me with that tablet. Dude. I'm so upset that I keep getting owned by... Like, I'm trying to dash through. Ouch. I'm trying to dash through when he's ulting, and it's just not working at all. Okay, that time he beads, so it's fine. That time he beads, so I know for a fact it's acceptable that he was able to get away from me. The other upteen times, umpteen amount of times, not acceptable. Also, he's not here and he doesn't have ult, so I'm chilling. Thank you. Now I go back, I get shifters. I could even go... What is it called? Um, Phoenix. But Phoenix is like only good if you have a lot of health, and I don't really have a lot of HP. Hello. Oh, hello. Didn't actually think you were there, to be honest with you. I'm not going to use an ability because I don't want Curse Weaver to cook me. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean that once I got the double defense online, he just he's just dead. He just can't fight me at all. He just cannot fight me at all with the double defense. He's actually going double defense himself. I think he's going spectral. Good play. I mean I crit a lot, so. Not only do I crit often, but I crit for a lot of damage. Right, Phoenix down. Fire minions are a lot more detrimental to me than they are him so this doesn't actually change the course of the game too much but it does help me keep a little bit more pressure and if nothing else if i die it means that i don't lose the game i just lose my phoenix which still sucks by the way but you know keeping the game alive is nice i'm gonna try to hit him with the corner here does he have he might he might ward me. 
It looks like he knows where I am. Do you have beads? Alright. Alt for beads is definitely an acceptable take for me right here. I think he does have a ward on me, by the way. Like, it's the only reasonable explanation for the way he's playing. Him having double defense here is kind of hard for me as the assassin. I mean, it, me having double defense is only a little bit hard for him as a, as a proc mage, you know? With Curse Weaver and Tablet, like... You don't really need a lot of power because your your procs are doing all of it. I do need a lot of power, you know, so. Okay, you have that again. I'm just gonna run away. That's fine. The reason I think that's fine is because I can get my 3k pot now. 3k pot is going to give me a lot of pen. I don't have any pen in my build, so... I mean, I have 10%, but... Um, I probably should sell... The Rune Forged... For something. If I'm honest. Like, I feel like... The Rune Forged isn't doing too much for me. He's doing a really good job defending, though. Can't hate it. I mean, you could, but why would you? Perfect. GG, dude. GG, that 3k pot cooks. Let's run out so the minions get the aggro. And that will be the game. Game two. That was actually a tough one. I mean, it doesn't seem like a tough one because I went eight and one. But every single fight was actually really close. And I couldn't really pin him down for a while there. Yeah, I'll see you guys in game three. Yo, what's up, game three? Oh my god, that is a lot of stars on Outposh. Does he have a master's border? Oh my god, he has a master's border outposh. This is this is this is, this This is not gonna go well. This is going to go bad. Probably. Probably. Um, okay. Let's see. This gives me 10% cooldown. This gives me more damage. 15 power, 25 power. Like, this is just so much of a better start. You know what I mean? This is so much of a better start. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, brother? Brove? They don't say brother. They say brove. Why do they say bruv and not just bro? No, I mean bro. Oh, that's why. Cutting it off with the V sounds better. Bruv. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um. Okay, I don't want him to get blue, but I invaded him last game, so he knows I'm going to invade him again. But surely he's not going to go for it. Not today, little demon. Fuck. Next time. Well, that is really... Oh, he beats. That sucks. I get nothing. I get genuine nothing, dude. You full cleared the wave, too? Well, I lost. Unlucky. I guess it was... Uh... Good try while it lasted. Are you going to do my blue buff? You probably should. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Probably should just yoink this. And if you don't want to, I'll definitely be thankful for you, but like... Okay. I'll take it. I can't stop him from doing any buff. His secure is far better than anything I could ever do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's got Vibrant Shard and, and Doom Orb. I killed myself. Okay. Wow. Wow. Actual holy fuck.
He just hit me with his one. He altered my wave. It hit me with the one explosion, and I, I simply blew up. Like that's there's nothing else about it. What am I? What am I to do? I am infinite, infinitely far behind. Um, shit. He's got double buff and XP camp. Okay. Um. Maybe not the best decision, but I can make it work. I feel like I just need to go tier twos. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I just need to go Runeforge tier two and just straight full pestilence. Oh well, yeah, this is gonna fucking hurt. I know. I know it's gonna hurt, man. Okay, now I back and I do it again. I will continue to do this for as long as it takes. Running up, tanking the wave, clearing it, and backing. If I have to do it, I will. I'm not above it. You know? I'll, uh, I'll put in the time, man. I'll put in the time. I don't care. Okay. Well, he just got his beads for free. That's pretty nice. I don't know why he did that, because, like... I'm never going to kill him. And it's I don't know, maybe it's because he's like he wants to secure his blue buff. Doesn't want me over there. But also if I walk over there, he just like he rearranges my face. <laughs> like obviously I cannot walk over there. <laughs> so I don't understand why he had to do that. But I do have a full pesky though, which feels good. Um, I'm gonna need a beat stick. I'm gonna need serrated. I'm gonna need maybe even a hydras this game because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a lot of my passive damage off. So we'll see how this goes. Red buff just spawned and he already got it. That's insanely quick. Um. Um, I mean, I can survive this, right? Probably. No. Okay. Okay. Well, if you don't have cooldown, I guess you lose the game. It's insane to me that his combo comes up faster than mine when neither of us have any cooldown. I think I just lose this game, bro. I'm not going to even lie to you. Like... I don't see the win con. Normally, I see, like, what I can do to win. Not this time. There's nothing. There's, there's nothing here. I'm just dead. Okay. Always could use another textbook. Well. Fuck, what do I do, man? I'm down 1.5k gold. I'm down two levels. I'm down a tower. Losing every camp in the game. I'm just being hard countered, I think. I guess, you know, I do get my crit chance later on in the game. Maybe, like maybe I can hold him off from doing my Phoenix long enough to like be okay. You know what I mean? I'm fine with this. Oh, 
Oh, let's go serrated. I need backpack. I need pen. I need a percent pen. He's probably at that red buff. Oh, there he is. Oh, dude, I just genuinely... I'm just DR'd. I'm just DR'd to shit. I can't kill him. I can't kill him. I almost got that red buff too, but the rock blocked it, unfortunately. The rock blocked by two. Um, okay, I need serrated and I need cooldown like ASAP, man. Always could use another textbook. I'm gonna go with 500 pot and I'm actually gonna go blink as well. The reason I'm going 500 pot is I need to try to compete with him on a, on a power scale level. And the easiest way to do that is simply getting a red pot. It sucks ass to do because it's a temporary spike, but I think it's what I have to do. I don't really think I have a choice that's even remotely as good as this. Hello. All right. Fine. That's fine. He's just dropping alt like that. I'm okay with this. Even the scariest of demons can't see me. I really need to farm and get my that's serrated online. If I can get serrated online and somehow like get higher level oh wait hold on okay. oh he blinked that all right all right all right this is actually good for me i'm not gonna lie to you this feels pretty good for me 1250. One more wave. Hmm. As long as I don't die here, this is fine. Right, I'm chilling. Now I get serrated and I still have the 500 pot, so maybe we can grab a, grab a kill here. It does have tablet. I guess that is kind of stacking up more and more against me. It does kind of suck, but oh well. Perfect. Perfect. And I get another 5% of my crit chance right there. Mm. Nice. And I got... Should be a kill here. Perfect. Perfect. That 500 pot paid off, baby. I got the power spikes I needed from it. It actually paid off. Thank God. Thank God. I really needed that. The early game is so bad, man. He out clears me. He out pressures me everywhere. But next item I can go is a Jotun's and just get some cooldown online. He is stacking that tablet, and that that is gonna hurt a lot. But I'm actually able to get a little bit of a comeback here, tiny bit. I do have blink up. Ouch. Maybe 
overstate Damn. my welcome. Always could use another text. <sighs> Damn. Getting the second kill would have been like the icing on the cake. But as you can see, the kill 495 gold that literally pays for the the red pot. So I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. And I caught up in levels. Which is actually freaking huge. I don't think I'm able to kill him here, but... Yeah, I missed everything. I'm lucky. That's fine. Nice. Okay. I died there, but it's actually so okay. It's so worth it. I think. Probably. It feels like it's worth it. Um. Item wise, what do I go? What do I go? What do I go? What do I go? I think I just go beat sick. I gotta meet him at that red buff. Okay. That's good for me. I didn't get any crits there, so it's not like the best. But... Nice. 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 He was locked in. He was locked into the uh the minion wave there. Couldn't run out. Uh I don't think that there's anything I can do, unfortunately though, because it's all cleared the wave. Does suck a little bit. Should have gone wave here. Wave has a higher priority than buff because I spawn next to the buff, obviously. Um, I guess I'll go Jotun's vigor just for a little bit of life steal. Now he does have anti heal built into his kit, a significant amount of it actually. So not too good to go Jotun's vigor, but you know maybe maybe something's better than nothing, right? Alright. I mean, I'm definitely down to just get the alt for free. Okay. I, I'm definitely down to get the alt and the blink for free. I, I don't know why he did that. Always could use another textbook. I didn't use anything there. Uh, I think he's dead here. I'm not getting any crits, unfortunately, but... But it doesn't matter because I still got minions here. I still got the minions. Disable. Um, I'm going to take some damage here. I don't really mind, though. It's not too much damage. And I heal a significant amount on the wave because I'm double life steal technically. Can I get this? The answer is 100% yes. Will I live, though, is the question. Okay, that answer is also 100% yes. Okay. 
All right. That's pretty good for me, I'd say. Ouch. All right. Okay, that actually just cooked me. I'm not going to lie. Did not think that would hit. And then when it hit, I just died. Like, <laughs> I'm just... You can have your buff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I even looked at your in your general direction. A new backpack. My apologies, nice. sir. Uh, it's definitely better for me to get a 500 pot here than it is to get the Runeforge Glyph. Also, Transcendence last item sounds stupid. It's not that dumb. Because uh, it stacks off how much damage you deal. So you can actually stack it really quick. I'm going to upgrade my Blink to Fire Blink. Yeah, Regrowth. Oh, man. I have a good amount of pen. You know, this has base pen, 15 base pen. This has 10 base pen. This has 20% pen. So I got decent pen. I will say maybe another like percent pen item would be better. Like if I got crusher for another 10% pen might be better than what I currently have, but it's fine. Does he know where I am? I don't know if he knows where I am. Oh, out. Jesus Christ, that alt owned me. Oh, hello. Did he just forget where I was? Did he... Did I stealth and he just forgot where I was? Or did he think I jumped somewhere? Like, <laughs> what, did, what was he doing? What did he think was happening there? I mean, I'll take it. I feel like I should have won this game, but I will definitely take it. All right. That was a hard game three. A hard game three, but we actually came out on top. Let's go. I will see you guys in game four. Yo, what's going on, gamers? Welcome to game number four. This is uh, another new Sir Kett skin. Well, it's not new, but new for the video. Fighting Nuwa. Oh, God. Now, Nuwa is just going to hurt. Okay. Sir Kett cannot beat Nuwa because Nuwa's stone uh, or clay minions, not stone minions, her clay minions, they block my two. And on top of that, I'm not exactly sure that I'm really even able to fight. Honestly. Like, I think, it, like, let's say I hit my two and the clay minions didn't block it. I still think after my two runs out, he just detonates and I'm dead. Like, <laughs> I don't... I don't think that I can outdo his damage, but I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Maybe it will. Oh, he's at red buff. Let's not call attention to us. Got him. <laughs> if I can't get the red buff, no one can. <laughs> Fuck it. I'll be the demon I have to be. I don't care. And I got your blue. And I got the pole. He's definitely going to detonate on me. He missed, so he got. Okay. So, I got the, the first blood and then died. And now I got second blood and didn't die. 
Perfect stuff, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. Perfect stuff. I guess he knew I was gonna invade because I, I tried to invade. Well, I did invade successfully the first time. I tried to invade the second time, but he had already cleared the buff. And he was like, you know what? Fuck it. Third time, I'm not even gonna let him know what my move. I'm just gonna go to red buff. Which is, I mean, that's fair, man. That's fair, honestly. Can't be mad at that. This little uh, dust cloud isn't gonna do too much damage to me. So. Okay, that is an interesting time to ult. I think I might have killed myself here, to be honest with you. Um, you don't have mana, do you? He had a little bit of mana, and I actually almost died to it. I'm not going to lie, I think if he used his minions instead of his three, I would die. I don't know if he had the minions available, but if he did and he decided to use the three instead, that was a misplay. I don't know the mana cost for New Wall well enough to know if the three is less than the two. I believe the three is less mana than the two. I think it's 60. And the two is 80 at max rank, but again, I, I don't know for sure, you know. I'm not I'm not some mega brain super wrinkled two thousand IQ Giga Dork. Although if those numbers are right, then you do have my permission to call me all of those. I am dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ouch. See, that's that combo I was telling you about. Like, even if I do hit the two, past his minions, like, I don't live through the good combo. Okay. That's good for me, actually. I know it doesn't seem like it's good for me, but it is. Or you can just stealth. Oh, you are dead, right? You're dead? Let's go. Let's go, dude. Popping the thorns and then like holding him in my thorns radius by using my ult. It's just good. It's just good gameplay. It's simply good gameplay. You know what I mean? Simply good gameplay. It feels good. And we're doing some some quality shenanigans here. Now he will get his blue buff because I went for the red and now I'm going for the blue. Um, so he has the time to do his blue. But that's okay. I don't need every buff in the game. I just need most of them. Okay, these ow bitch. They hurt. He horn sharded. See that that's the shit I'm talking about, man. That's the shit I'm talking about. I can't ever hit him my, with my two because his boys. Ah, dicks. All right. I really need my, um... Oh, okay. Well, we got his beads. I'm dead. Your middle tower is under attack. You think you can take me? Hmm. Are they chasing me or not? 
All right, I just back, I just back, I just back. Uh, I need serrated. I need some, I need some form of life steal here, some form of sustain. Is he going mid guardian? I also genuinely feel like I need to go attack speed. Cause I feel like I need to kill those, those demon clay monsters quick. Okay, she has no idea I'm here. Mystical mail, huh? See that? I don't get it. I don't get it. I I ulted perfectly. I'm dead, by the way. I don't get it because I ulted perfectly and I just fell off. Like I just fell off, dude. I I, I don't know. Oh, I just fucking died to the minions, didn't I? Yeah. They did. They hit me 25 times for over 850 damage. Like, Jesus Christ. I don't know how I'm supposed to fight this. Your middle tower has been destroyed. Because those minions just do so much fucking damage. And as a melee character, I have to be close. Who knows? Maybe the later I, I it gets, like, maybe the more crit chance I get is what I'm trying to say. It will, like, even out the odds. I doubt it, but maybe. To be fair, I also felt like it was hopeless against Outwash. And for the same reason, like, you can't really get close to him. This person just knows that I'm playing a bunch of Circuit games. Whether, you know, whether they know who I am or not, they just know that I'm slamming Circuit. Um, and so they're just picking gods that are, like, hard counters. Which is, a, I mean, obviously, that's a smart strategy, right? I'm just gonna, just gonna run. I I could not damage this person at all. Cannot damage this person at all. Like they just came to me. I don't understand. I tried to blink past them and they just re-aggroed onto me. Oh, no way. These guys aggroed to me. Do I live? I do. <sighs> I can't believe those guys aggroed to me from, like, so far away. I want to go, um... I don't know. I was going to say, I want to go stone cutting sword, but like, cause it shreds their protection. It doesn't really give me any benefit, but I don't know. I might think about it. The more stupid it is to go stone cutting. Are they just gonna like backdoor my my Phoenix with my soldiers? How how? They're just standing there and like retargeting from infinity away, man. I I'm telling you. This is not fair. Oh thank god. Oh, thank God. How did I even kill her? I got no extra damage between, like, my last fight and this fight. I don't think I did. I didn't finish my serrated between last fight and this fight, did I? Maybe I did. Um, I think I'm going to sell this. I don't think this was a smart pickup. Beat sticks not that helpful. 
Okay, I just want to go crush her. I'm just going to go crush her. 10% pen because we know he's going to go double defense. He's gone double defense every single game he's played. So. Not to mention the attack speed's not nice or not bad either. Just say not nice. The attack speed is nice. Very nice. Oh, I've been out. Okay. I will 100%. 100% take the ult on the bees there. What? Why were they backing up? Oh, they surrendered. They surrendered. I think when I blinked on them and they, they knew they were going to die, they just said, you know what? Screw it. I'm out of here. All right. GG. I'll see you guys in game number five. Let's go. Yo, what's up, gamers? To I think this is game six or game five. I think it might be game five, actually. We're fighting a Fafnir. Now, Fafnir is one of those gods. Where you think it's gonna be easy pickings, you're gonna win, it's gonna be freeload. Uh it's until you get a game and you're like, wait a second. I'm I'm in trouble. You know, it's the meme. It's the meme where you go, ha, I'm in danger. It's that meme. But it's against Fafnir. And he's a master's border. Oh. You know, I tried, so there's that. You know. I tried to play the game. I loaded in with the character that I thought could win the game until the better character loaded in. If he goes auto attack Fafnir, I genuinely think there's nothing I can do. But I guess I have said that against both Nuwa and Alpwash, and I won both times. And they both had Master's Borders as well, if I'm not mistaken. So... Maybe... Maybe I'm better at overcoming or surmounting obstacles than I think I am. I'm going to walk over here. I am going to invade this Fafnir because I have, uh, I have no soul and I don't feel bad. I'm also going to use my horn shard so I can clear somewhat. Keep up with him. Good stuff. All right. Not bad. We got pressure and that's all that matters. We got pressure and that's all that matters. And I get red buff too. Lovely. Okay. All right, that's actually good for me because... Hold on. I don't got mana! Yo, he actually dies if I have mana there. Damn it. I was going to say that's actually good for me because... And then I was going to kill him. And it was going to be like, ha, ah, funny, good one, Sam. And then I didn't have mana. Fuck. It's going to be so cool, man. <laughs> Dang it. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. At least I didn't die. That would have been tragic. Imagine if I tried to look cool and instead I died. Oof. I right, he is level 5 now, which means he has the full capabilities to ram my head into the ground at Mach 4. So let's just go ahead and try to not fight him for a second. Actually, I don't know. He doesn't have an item. And I do have an item. Maybe I do fight him. Hello. Got a little poke damage. I'm cool with a, a wit or poke. 
I'm going to stand in front of the minion wave so that you can't clear. Now you alt. I thought I would do more damage. Help. Help. No. Oh, damn it. Does he gain HP when he ult? Or defense or anything like that? Because he seemed very tanky. Like, I could have sworn if my first combo did, like, you know, X amount of damage, my second combo would do X amount of damage plus my ult. And then it just didn't, and now I'm a little upset. I mean, this is like, okay. Um, oh, honestly, getting his beads there, I'll take it. Getting his beads there, I will take it. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. Of this. Of this. And now he will get the blue buff, but I'm kind of okay with that. Because I got the kill. So he might get red buff too, won't he? That one I should not be okay with. Because he already does so much damage. Why are, why are there so many of you? Ow. Okay. He's definitely just going to get max cooldown and then go for red. Okay. Ow. Oh, oh my god that was sick that was so cool i am so cool holy shit i had eight health oh my god that was crazy that was crazy don't go berserker shield Oh, God, that was so cool. I feel so cool right now. I feel so cool right now. Use max cooldown. Um, I mean, I'm 10% away from max cooldown. It's like kind of the same. Hello. I got two of them. Hello. I really don't do enough damage to fight him. Like, I kind of just tickle him. If I'm honest. Hello, you jump now. I pull. Okay. You're dead. Let's go. Dude, I actually got the thorns proc perfect with my alt like by controlling him with the alt and i got the auto attack to proc the passive perfect i'm playing well i'm playing well i am playing well do a little power damage here just jump in i'm not gonna die here he doesn't have alt if he had alt this would be an idiotic play but he doesn't have alt so i'm chilling 
<clears throat> All right, we go back. We get serrated. Now, I do want to stop him from doing blue again, but I don't have my alt up. Actually, I kind of do. You can run now. Oh, why would he fight me? Why would he fight me? He didn't win the fight before. And this time I have the advantage because I have the power spike and I, I'm the one that initiated the fight. And I have a three level lead, which is just ridiculously high. I think as long as I can maintain this lead, we should be fine. It's going to be a little tough, but I think we can do it. He canceled my two by stunning me. I didn't think that was possible. Uh, how do you you have your stun up again? Huh? All right. Hello. Gosh. I stink. Oh, you kind of stink too, though. Let's go, we stink together. gonna go uh heart seeker and crusher i'm gonna go proc items and then i'm just gonna go uh deathbringer last i cannot believe i lived that holy shit by all accounts i should die there <laughs> like this there should honestly be no universe in where it's okay to get away with what i just did and yet here we are in the best universe hello i'm here to annoy Hello, I'm here to annoy. Bonk, bonk. Wait, hello? Ouch. Hello. Oh, he jumped it. Oh, sick. Okay. Nice. Nice. I used my thorns just in case my uh, my 2-1 combo wasn't enough to actually kill. I was assuming that it would be enough, but that's not really something you want to you want to guess. Because if I if my 2-1 combo doesn't kill there, then I need thorns to pick up the slack while I'm stunned. Because I will be stunned and killed under tower if my 2-1 doesn't kill. But I was just making sure, you know. Not to mention, Thorns has some damage mitigation on it, which actually helps you dive and, and makes me a little more confident under tower. Even though it shouldn't realistically make me that much more confident under tower. All right, now we're going Crusher. Uh, he doesn't have that much HP, mainly because he's level 14. He is still a Guardian, which means his HP scaling is crazy high. Which means Heartseeker uh, should do a lot of work for me. Unless he has alt again, I don't think he can do Bold Demon. So I don't know where he is right now. Okay. 
that one kind of sucks. I'm gonna toss him. I don't want. I don't want to actually fight him here. Is he gonna come this way? He is. I can kill him. I think. No shot. Wow. Wow. The DR? The DR from hitting his, my two, like, right here. I hit my two right there. The DR from that stayed long enough to chase under Phoenix. And then just kill my ass. That's actually insane. Your tower. Genuine insanity there. I'm not even going to cap. I feel like... Can't go wrong with that. I feel like I should not have died there. Like, it should have been a kill. But I guess that's how everyone feels about their misplays, right? I feel like it was rigged. Um, I mean, I guess I just go try to do bull demon, right? Fuck it. He's going to show up and he's going to steal it. But... Cause he does, he does so much damage in his alt form. You have no idea. If he's not in alt form, then he, he's not going to take it. I guess he just never transformed. I don't know why. That hit me in the air. Even he didn't think it hit. It's crazy that even he didn't think that it hit. And so he backed away. He's doing my blue right now. Now detransforming. I just got to keep this minion wave alive. If I can get minion wave in there, then... Um, I can guarantee his phoenix because because he doesn't have alt up right now all right phoenix down and once phoenix is down i think i've won the game it is really really hard for him to actually compete in not only keeping up pressure with me now but like clearing the wave because even if he kills me which he does have hasten then he does have cyclopean so no, he's, he's got the build to kill online. Uh, so even if he kills me, though, he's got to deal with fire minions, and fire minions are very hard for him to deal with. Unless he's in alt form, which... You know, I guess at level 20 is almost permanent, to be fair. How much is the good Deathbringer? I have enough already. I don't mind. I don't mind getting his alt and dude, getting his alt and surviving is actually insanely good for me. Oh, he did my blue. I remember him doing my blue actually. Now that I now that I ha like am forced to think about it, I remember him doing my blue. Um, he has going double defense, but I'm already max percent pen. I have forty percent pen. I don't really care too much about the double D. Um, what I should do though is make sure that I pressure him as hard as humanly fucking possible right now. Because he doesn't have ult. In fact, I'm pretty sure he didn't. Yeah. Yeah, he can't he can't uh compete. He so he did the right play kind of because he has to walk up to clear the wave. Because he knows that he can't compete in a fight with me without his alt. 
And I know that his ult just went on cooldown, so I have at least a full minute. Pro probably closer to 50 seconds of just, like, farming him. Not, like, minions, but farming him. So, he did the right play to kind of push up and try to get that, uh, get that wave, but me being able to land that two on him just, just cost him the game. GG's. You guys in the next game and probably the final game. Yo, what's going on, gamers? This is the last game for Tilt. We are playing some more Sarkat, obviously. We're fighting the same guy we just fought when he was Fafnir, except now he's Naja. Naja is spooky. But there is something that's a positive that comes out of this one. And that is the fact... Actually, let's just undo all that. Because um, I kind of want to go Runeforged again. Uh, I kind of want to go Blackthorn, actually. The reason, the reason I want to go Blackthorn instead is because it allows me... I'll go Beads, sure. It allows me 10% more cooldown freedom in the early game, which is actually pretty good. But the reason this is like a better matchup for me than the, the Fafnir one is because we're both physical gods. Not physical. We're both uh, melee gods. I mean, we are both physical, but we're both melee, which is more important. Is he going to go to red? I'm actually going to invade him. I'm, I'm not going to let him do a buff. I don't really care which buff he thinks he's going to start at. I'm not going to let him do any of them. Minions have spawned. Yeah, he's doing his blue here. I don't know why I tried to jump over the wall when my cooldown was like a full fucking eight seconds still. Um. Hmm. Really don't have a whole bunch of mana, which does tend to be a problem. Okay, never mind. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Nice. Um, I'm gonna go breastplate here. I'm just gonna go tier one breastplate because I already have, I already have all the potions I could want, and I don't have enough for finished Blackthorn. So I'm just gonna go get a tier one item. It's not too much stats, but it's enough that it might. Might help a little bit. You never know. You never know. Like it's what? 20 protection? Yeah, 20. It's not bad. Alright, he does have a full Jotun zone. I'm not gonna lie, that is that is intimidating. That's a lot of damage output. I don't know, with an extra 100 health and 20 protections, maybe I don't die, though. Okay, I do not mind this. Okay. Oh, I don't have the mana. Damn it, dude. Damn it. I could have killed him, but I just didn't have the mana. If I had finished Blackthorn Hammer, I, I kill him 100% of the time there. Because I get the extra mana. I mean, you get the extra mana from Tier 2 as well, but it's only 20 MP5 rather than 50. Which, it just wasn't enough. Damn. Alright, I mean... I guess I can't be that upset about it, right? Like, I still got the thing. And I still won the fight. I'm gonna sit here. I don't want him to get the gold from these, you know? That's all that matters. Making sure that his gold input is lower than mine. Okay, ouchie. 
Okay, he is off again. Well, sir. That is, that is rude. What you're doing right now is rude. He's out of mana already. Holy shit. If I wait a couple seconds. Yeah. All right. Cool. That is very interesting that he would just do that. I mean, I guess he thought he could kill me, right? But Blockthorn gives you so much HP. Like, if you think you're going to get a kill, it's a no-brainer to make that play, right? I think I'm dead here. Yeah, I am. Damn. Oh, why is he so healthy? I thought he'd be way more hurt. Oh, I thought he was going to try to ult me. I was going to jump over it. Uh, I am dead here, by the way. I'm just going to run all the way back. Because he has three and he has ult. So. As long as I can still move in it. That's unfortunate that his three is AoE. Because he actually got the three. He got my blue by threeing me. And then like the AoE of the three killed it. Unlucky. Hello. It was loud. Why did that sound so loud? Oh, I could be dead here. I'm not going to lie. Never mind. Never mind. It was actually really close, though. I was hoping that after I ulted, I would be able to pull him with my two and then get the auto off to like proc the three stacked passive. But my two was so dr that I couldn't even get the auto off in time. Unlucky. This is down, correct? Oh, it's now actually up. I could have sworn he did those. Gonna come over here. Is this gonna give me this this blue buff? I guess it's because he gives it, it puts him in a good position for for red, maybe. Okay. All right. I mean, I don't really understand a lot of the fighting he's doing because I feel like personally, if you're not gonna win a fight then you're going for the objective, right? Like, in my mind, if we're fighting at the rock and I'm like, I'm not going to win that fight, then my my sole purpose is getting the rock. But he fought at the rock with the intention to give me the rock by using his three because that takes him off the ground, which means he's not on the rock, right? Which means I get it for free. So he fought me at rock with the intention to give me rock and then ulted with the intention to kill me and then just back. All of which just doesn't make any sense, to be honest. I do want him to, to like stash me here or something. Alright. 
I mean, bead for bead, that's fine. And I have a huge amount of gold I can back with right here. I can finish my serrated and I can start another item, which I'm assuming I should go uh, beat stick here. I could also go something with 10% cooldown. I, I could go Hydra's, actually. Hydra's is a weird item because you don't want to utilize Hydra's as Sir Cat because your passive is like... So if you don't know Sir Cat's passive, it's when you hit two abilities or when you have two stacks, like I'll show you here. You see that little icon right there on his health bar? When I auto attack him, that icon goes away, right? But if I use my one and my two, he has two icons and then I auto attack, they both go away, but they deal extra damage right so um you get like five percent extra damage i think or something like that five percent of the target's max health when you have two poisons ten percent of the target's max health when you have three poisons which is basically just like this like if you hit all these and then you you detonate it um i think you could die here by the way yep 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 and so, because the passive is built like it is, your goal as Sir Cat to utilize his, her passive as much as possible and get the most damage output possible is to use all three of your abilities, like your one, your two, and your alt, um, to deal damage and then auto attack afterwards so that you have all three of those poisons stacked up on him, him or her, whatever character you're fighting. Um, to then utilize and burst, right? Hydra's is literally the complete opposite, where it's like after every ability, you want to auto attack, which means if you're using Hydra's correctly, you you literally never utilize it. You're passive. Oh, you have alt, correct? You don't. You do not have all. Now, all that being said, I do feel like like red buff is more worth picking up than blue buff, which means I'd have to get the ten per, the last ten percent cooldown from an item, and I think the best item to do it is Hydra. Even if I, even if I'm not utilizing Hydra to its fullest potential. I'm still utilizing it somewhat. Like surely it's maybe okay. He's a red buff, by the way. No, right. Not a red buff, a red pot, I mean. Now you see me. I have beads here. I just got to make sure I beads his ult when he turns. Okay, that should be a phoenix down. I don't have a whole lot of time to kill this phoenix, but could be enough. Alright. Go get the Hydras. It's also going to help me with my, my percent pen. I don't really need max percent pen because he's only got one defense item and he's an assassin so his like base protections and base hp aren't that high i don't really need a lot to deal with it but you never know maybe he goes double defense and makes my max my max percent pen worth it all right Oh, I don't have beads. If he has a lot of crit, he could just kill my ass. He doesn't have any crit. So I'm assuming he's just going to leave. Yeah, you're dead. Yep. My ult. 
I knew the second that I ulted, it was going to kill him. Like, there's no point in me trying to be like, oh, I hope that kills him. It's going to kill him. I'm going to win. And that's going to be the end of the tilt. She, the the Sir Cat, she actually made it all the way. I was going to say congratulations, but like, who am I congratulating? Myself? <laughs> like, I don't know. It's awesome, though. We made it all the way with Sir Cat. Let's go, dude. Let's go. GG, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think about Smite 2 in the comments. Please try to be as positive as possible. Because Lord knows. You know you know what I mean? Uh, let me know what you think about Smite 2 in the comments. About what I'm going to do with the channel. And make sure to go and check out that second channel while you can. Subscribe to the, the channel. Watch the videos. It would mean a lot to me. Thanks so much. And until next time, all, peace.